Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. So today it's going to be one game that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it's U-Boat. So, well, as you can see, it's obviously a World War II submarine, and it's one of the and it's and it's meant to cater to the casual crowd as well. I mean, people see a submarine game, they'll oh, it's going to be really complex, a lot of systems and stuff to handle. Well, fortunately, the developers of this game had decided to, you know, cater to both the uh, casual and uh, the hardcore crowd. So the hardcore crowd might be a little disappointed, but it's uh, it has a lot a lot in it for the casual crowd. So you don't really have to worry about uh, a lot of things when you know calculating a targeting solution for a ship. The crew can actually take care of it for you, uh, which is also there in the Silent Under series. But that series. Has some has more emphasis on realism and and while this game, um, well, while the targeting system is not as realistic as Silent Hunter, the other aspects such as the damage control uh, aspects, like where if a leak comes on board the submarine, uh, you need to assign somebody to fix it, and all those systems are quite accurately detailed. So, yeah. But anyway, let's. I digress. Let's start the game, and I'll show you. Uh, what it's all about. Uh, just give me a moment, I'll be back. Alright, let's start a new game. So, I'm not going to do the tutorial. Okay, so there are a bunch of scenarios that you can start with. And the uh, dates will increase gradually. So, early in the war, I mean 1941, it's what what the German submariners like to call the happy times uh, because you know they could attack British shipping without much harassment uh, because anti-sonar technology was relatively uh, new and you know they couldn't really beat the submarines uh, so the 1941 and all is what we call happy times but uh, if you see here this scenario where you take command of U1055 it's 1945 and it's really hard and this is when the allies have started to push back against the Germans and it's pretty hard. But uh, we'll be starting with U-96 and this is actually a real submarine and the movie called Das Boot was uh, based on this submarine, yeah. But yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get started. So we'll be starting in the port of La Rochelle, which is in France, and it's now January 1941, just a few months after the occupation of France by Germany. Right? And as I and you can see from the description here, skippers among themselves call the current period happy times because Allies don't seem to be ready to fight, ready for the fight against uh, modern U-boats. So audio language is going to be German. Uh, we won't be using darker nights. Collision damage, uh, we can uh, get rid of that. I mean, we don't need, really need that for now. Okay, let's create our first uh, captain. I mean, our captain, yeah. I mean, if a captain gets killed, yeah, you will have to promote someone to take over, obviously. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's give him some more. boy. Yeah. Let's give him a cool jacket. There we go. Nice little jacket. Yeah, you can make him wear a cap or go bald or whatever, but yeah, we'll need a captain's cap, obviously. Complexion, eh. You can change the face here. Uh, we'll go with the default one, it's okay. You can put some accessories here, eye patch, binoculars. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll just go ahead with this. This looks pretty decent in my opinion. Okay, let's start now. Okay, Claus Graf is a default name. But uh, I will be adding his name as Al Macho after a certain Discord user. Okay, here we go. Game is loading up. So this game is still in early access, I should point that out. Uh, 
Hey, Macho, welcome to the stream. So, you are the captain of the boat, El Macho. <laughs> Alright, here we go, game has started. Let me zoom out, yes, so this is our submarine, U-96. It is a Type 7C submarine. Uh, the workhorse of the German Navy during the Second World War. So the Germans produced this submarine more than any other type uh, in the war. And uh, unlike the Silent Hunter series, uh, right now, I mean, this since this is a small studio, you just have access to this submarine, the Type 7C. Uh, you typically would have other submarine types like the Type 2, which was which was much smaller than this, had a smaller range also, and was often called. Uh, coastal boat because it could only you know travel from coast to coast so let me press m here and show where we are located right now so here we are 1941 the state of uh, this is europe here and this is the french port of la rochelle this is where we are and these are the british uh, naval bases uh, as you can see here and yeah, you can pretty much travel all across the atlantic even to the united states also but they wouldn't uh, yeah even to the united states if you want but your range will be a bit limited and I'm assuming uh, they will eventually uh, uh, give the uh, uh, give us a type 9c boats which are really long range and fun fact the type 9c boats were actually deployed in the uh, Indian Ocean as well they often came to the coastal India to hunt down British shipping as well yeah but so far in this game just a type 7c is there so we'll be confined to mostly operations in the Atlantic Ocean yeah, but anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get back to the boat. So, if you zoom in here, you can see it cuts down to a section-wise view here. You can move around with the WSAD keys, and yeah, and at the bottom, these are your officers here: Old Up, Osterman, Hagenau, and Macho. El Macho. Yeah, this is our captain. There he is. So he's just looking at the uh, looking through the binoculars. And uh, one cool thing about this is you can actually go in first person mode uh, for any soldier that it, for anybody actually so if i go to manual mode here uh yeah, there we go now i'm in i'm actually controlling the character uh, let me just figure out how to do this i haven't played this in a while Yeah, okay. Uh, well, anyway, uh, uh, we try to figure that out late in a bit. Hold on, I forgot the controls completely. Uh, been a while, apologize for that. Okay, it's F1 to switch to first person view. Okay. Yep, you can walk around first person. But now I forgot how to turn around with the characters man. It should be WSAD, but I'm not sure why it's not picking it up correctly. Okay, I was I had the left alt button click, that's why. Okay, so now we can walk around here. So you can get down from the submarine, you can go inside, you know, the whole submarine itself is model. You can take control of any officer down here who can. And you can walk through the submarine, you know, see the various systems. You can see there's a crazy amount of detail that developers have done here. Uh, so these are the so this is the rear of the submarine. This is where the diesel engines and everything are, the air compressor, etc. Uh, we I'll explain all these systems uh, once we actually get started. So these are the diesel engines, the heart and soul of the sub. If these things go out, you are pretty much stranded. Hey, hello, peace, welcome to stream. Okay, so now before we start to go out on a patrol, we need to take some orders. So let me select Macho or Captain here. Also, uh, we can. Let me just try to customize some of the officers that we have here. Alfred Walker, yeah, let's customize this guy. He's our chief engineer. Wonder if we can change the name here. Let me see if we can change the name. We will call him. Peace. Yeah, sure, why not? Simple name. Peace. That's Peace, our engineer. And each officer has skills actually, which they, you can unlock as they get more xp it uh, there are many options i mean there are many uh, trees that they can follow and uh, let's rename this guy as well 
and he's our chief boatswain. Uh, let me rename him as well. Uh, he'll usually be in charge of navigation to call a major to rock. Okay. And let's come to Osterman. So this is going to be the radio officer. Yeah. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, let me just hide the taskbar. Okay, done. Okay. Now, yeah, let me edit this guy as well. Uh, what should we call him? Yeah, sure, why not? Oops. We'll call him Tumbling Cat because we always need a cat on board. There we go. And finally, okay, this guy is the chief engineer. Uh, let's rename him as well. Make it tuck. There we go. Done. Okay, so now let's get underway first. Uh, we need to get some orders right now. So as you can see, the date is 11th January 1941 right now. And yeah, let's get a captain here and uh, head over to the... Recruitment guy over here, working my so if you if you select a guy and right click uh, they'll immediately head over there. So there he is heading over. Macho is getting down from the boat. Start will be a bit slow, I apologize, but we need to you know we basically need to get orders and move out, so we can go in first person mode also, why not? Yeah. This is a recruitment guy. We don't need any new officers for now, so that is fine. Uh, this. Uh, yeah. We, apparently, we have done a patrol before. So now, what we can do is uh, there are several options here. So the first one will give us a list of missions. The second one will let you purchase some favors from HQ. So, for example, if you have, you can have you can increase the number of officers on board. And you can, this is pretty important, you can have a free roam, which means that you can basically, you know, go around, do missions as you please. You don't have to wait for specific orders. So, yeah, but we don't have that right now. And there's this option here. Oops, sorry. Uh, what is it? What's new in the headquarters? So this is where you can do research, basically. And uh, assign officers to do research. But currently, we don't have any officers that can actually do the research. For any of these objectives so here we have an aerial reconnaissance mission so it will actually show you air defenses in the area and this will research this uh, this this is the snorkel which is a very important device used by submarines so typically a submarine would have to surface in order to recharge its uh, electric engines uh, yeah so about that so submarines when they are submerged they use electric engines and uh, once a battery runs out uh, before the battery runs out, they have to surface to recharge it. So with the snorkel, you can actually stay submerged and still um, recharge the electric uh, engine. So it's quite useful, I mean, because uh, if you're su surfaced, there's a high chance you'll be spotted by enemy aircraft. And you will get, you can get bombarded easily. So, yeah, but we won't be doing any research for now. Let's get in, let's select an uh, operation. These are the current orders from headquarters, your eyes only. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so one mission is to commit espionage. So your goal will be to transport a spy unharmed to coordinates 51 North 1 West near Portsmouth Port. So we need to transport a spy here. That is one mission. The other one is a patrol mission. So we need to go to this location, look for uh, travel 20 to 50 kilometers and uh, look for enemy uh, ships, I mean cargo ships and sink. So we need to sink enemy trade ships with a total gross tonnage of 7,000 tons. You get an extra 15,000. And then you have a very difficult mission. Uh, it's very, so we need to go into the Cardiff docks and sink two ships that are corvette sized or larger. Use intelligence collected recently in HQ to avoid port defenses. So for time being, uh, since we would like to see some action first, we won't be doing the espionage mission. Uh, instead, we'll be patrolling sector BD. There we go. Uh, we have a new mission and before we leave yeah we need to stock up on some provisions let me select macho and right click on this this is a warehouse yeah 
also you can choose to upgrade your ship but we don't have any technology i selected our options this is the conning tower you can upgrade this if you want this will give you more better anti-aircraft guns and all but we don't have any upgrades for now so i'll just uh, go for resupply yeah, okay so we have several categories of equipment here so we have med kits here which are useful if somebody gets injured replacement parts are really important uh, because uh, in case components are broken you need them we already have four on board but each one of these costs 500 and then you have food of course food is important really important yes uh, so we have some pork on board canned bread uh, let's get some cheese as well and it's going to cost us 182 coins uh, no please the stream hasn't stopped it's still going on is there a problem with the stream stream is still going on I don't know what <laughs> blind this so each item you move will actually use up time you can see total time to transport all goods 4 hours 99 minutes so yeah let's get some more food on board uh, you need potatoes as well okay now let's go get some ammunition also uh, these are small caliber high explosives so these are used for the deck gun on the submarine so each submarine has a deck gun uh, the deck gun is on well on on top of the submarine obviously and is used for attacking ships generally you would you want to attack on uh, ships that don't that can't shoot back at you yeah yeah uh, let's try to get some uh, uh, yeah let's get get a large caliber ammo here oh that leaves up a lot wow okay okay we need some fla we need some high explosive ammo as well Don't need so much. Okay, large caliber APM, flag gun. Yeah, how much how much do we have on the flag gun? Small caliber AP, small caliber H. Okay, we have a lot of H ammo. Let's get some more AP ammo. Maybe 1000 should be fine. So as you can see as I'm moving it will increase the number of time it amount of time it takes to load. Oh thank you for the subscription. Okay now the next thing we need to do we have we have some torpedoes here. So we have two torpedo uh, storage room the bow torpedo storage which is the front of the submarine and the stern which is on the rear. So we can only have one in the rear. And we have two types of torpedoes, the T2 and the T1. So the difference is the T2 torpedoes are electric and the T1 has steam propelled. Now what does this mean? I mean in terms of uh, how they operate. Well, the electric torpedoes have much lower range but they don't read but uh, they don't leave a trail behind like uh, because uh, let me explain the steam torpedoes right since they are propelled by steam a lot of bubbles will come on the surface and the ships can actually see this torpedo come from a long way off whereas with the electric torpedo you don't have that disadvantage but but the steam torpedoes can be shot from much further out and the electric torpedoes need, require you to get closer so it's quite risky but anyway let me load some t1 torpedoes as well uh and it costs 800 gold expensive these torpedoes but don't worry we'll get some go gold coins i mean not gold coin the currency so let me move one more t1 in it should be fine. So it's going to take us two days to transport everything. Our fuel tank is full. Yeah, and let's take one more thing also. We need to take this rebreather kit. This is important because uh, if the submarine gets flooded, right? If certain sections of the submarine take damage and they get flooded, uh, you need people to work underwater basically. So let's take one more of this. One more of this. The submachine gun is useful on some missions uh, where uh, you might have to board some abandoned ships or submarines and uh, you might encounter resistance so that's where you'll need it but as you can see it's quite expensive 5000 and then you have the diving suit here which is required for diving to wrecks and wreck salvaging items we don't need this for now okay let's go and uh, let's get back let's get marcher back to ship so if you press a tab key you can see a list of stations that are available so right now Tuck is handling the diesel engines, uh, Tumbling Cat is on the radio room 
and if you can see there's something called hydrophone so the hydrophone is used underwater basically uh, it's used to listen to the su sounds of distant objects through the wa through the ocean so it's like sonar you can say using sound waves aj2 rock is the uh, he's going to be a second officer i guess i mean he's called a watch officer so he can either use the observation periscope I mean, you can assign any officer to any station, basically, but some of them are specialized for this. Yep, this is you, El Macho. This is you, at the right, El Macho. Uh, give me a minute, guys. Need to get the door back. Thank you. And yes, El Macho, yeah, I think you missed the start of the stream where I created you, but you are the captain of the boat and you are currently at the targeting site. Okay, let me just zoom into you. Where are you? There you are. Yep, this is what you're this is what you're controlling right now. The targeting site. So this is used for surface attacks. But anyway, I digress. Let's let's go. Let's set a course. So our objectives are to travel. Let me where's where is our damn objectives? Let me see the damn objectives. Oh, he has a journal. Here we go. A standing order is to set petrol sector BD. Good luck. Okay, let's go. Let's press M to go go to world map. Let's set a course. So it's already highlighted for us. North Atlantic. This is sector BD. Coordinates are set. Let's go. Okay. So now we have marked the coordinates. Now we need to get the boat underway. Actually, let me just... Uh, let me just uh, set a course to U-turn out of the shipyard. Okay, there we go. Now to set the speed. So, uh, submarines can go... Okay, actually we have to wait for a few days. We have to wait for two days actually <laughs> before we can get get started. Uh, because we need to load all that stuff. So, let's wait for two days. There we go, day two. And it's night time. Yep, it's going to be a night journey. So this is the, uh, well, this is where you control the speed. So submarines can go forward or backward. So you have reverse 3, 2, 1. And here you can switch to electric motors. And this is for diesel motors. So anyway, let's go to forward 3. So the faster you go, the more fuel you use. You can see that here. Uh, you can see that on current usage, it is 9,600 kilometers is our range. If I reduce the speed, it increases to 10,900 kilometers. So, yeah. But yeah, this is our boat. Let's go to targeting site. Yeah, it's a beautiful moonlight. Oh, let's turn on the searchlight also here. There we go, a little light on the submarine. Yeah. There we go. This is it, U96. Let's take a look at the underside of the submarine. There, yeah, these are the two propellers that drive the submarine. Oh, let's see what the engineer is doing right now. Who is the engineer? Tuck, right? Yeah. Let's zoom into Tuck. Here's the diesel engines. You can see. They are going at full power here, the diesel engines. Yeah. Let's handle them. And let's head. So we are leaving the port slowly now. Uh, we can time skip, but yeah, let me just set a course out to the uh, uh, location now. El Macho, change course. Yep, there we go. I should probably turn off the searchlight because we don't really need it now unless we're doing search and rescue missions. We can go down to the front of the submarine to take a better look. Let's climb down here. Also the game's tutorial is quite excellent. It teaches you everything you need to know. And over here we have the deck gun. So this is what you use to destroy uh, uh, ships on the surface. I mean. Usually you want to use this when there are unescorted convoys. Uh, you want to save a torpedo as much as possible. 
I said I would have back. And that this gun is that is a deck this is a flag gun so this is used for anti-aircraft yeah uh, meanwhile let me tell the crew to switch to red light because it's night time so red light actually uh, I'll tell peace to okay AJ to rock is a he's sleeping there lazy guy yeah he's sleeping I'll tell him to switch to red light on the submarine the red light will help uh, sailors uh, get attuned to the night conditions so they can uh, target uh, they can there it'll ex actually get your eyes attuned to the uh, attuned when it's night time so that should be somewhere here let me check uh, over here you have the cook he's making food and you can open the storage room and tell him to cook multiple stuff if you want so th if you click here this is a galley so if you want him to cook potatoes and fish you can tell him canned bread so it gives a bonus to the crew if you have a variety of food Okay, anyway, let me turn on that bloody light now. Uh, the, uh, and we need someone at the navigator station also occasionally because if nobody is there to recalculate the submarine's location, you'll get lost. You will have no idea where you are on the map. It's happened to me a few times. That's important, but we'll get someone there later. For now, I need to figure out how to turn on the light. Ah, here it is, the light switch. So let's switch, turn on the red light. Let's see where AJ is. Yep, there he's waking up. Switch to red light. Now we are on red light mode. So, submarines usually use this at night during attacks and uh, whatever. Yeah. So, there are things that can happen on the submarine. Like, if we can see here, we have something called discipline at 100%. So, if this drops, some of your crew may have a mental break and they refuse to perform orders and they just go into a state of shock. So, then you have, you have a bunch of options to discipline them. You can either scold them, make them clean the toilets, or you can even shoot them. That set an example to the others. So... So here's our oxygen level at 100%. Uh, so since we are not submerged, uh, we are not using any. Battery capacity is 90%. So this is what is used for the diesel engines. I mean for the electric engines. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, anyway, we are ready to go. Look at this. Beautiful. Check this out. Moonlit night. First petrol. Okay, anyway, that's enough for now. Let's time skip. Switching to world map. Oops, not the plus. Uh, I pressed the wrong key. Sorry. This is what you need. Fast travel. So, it's going to be a bit slow here because uh, we are still close to land. So, once we head out into the open seas, the time skip will increase by maybe a factor of 10, 10 to 20 times more. So, And this, what you can see, is the sight range. So, depending on how many officers you have assigned to targeting, I mean, to the top of the submarine right for the uh, targeting site it'll increase so right now macho is still on the targeting site and if you can see here or let me just uh, go back to normal time you can see here yeah, you can see two pips here if i highlight uh, you can see both are turning green so that means if i click now two more officers will come in to assist macho on the on the bridge of the uh, submarine to help him and that will increase the site range I just clicked and you can see the sight range increased but again this will also affect discipline on the ship because if too many officers are working too many crew are working you know extra time uh, their discipline will drop but anyway we don't need those two for now uh, and in, fa in fact we should probably let macho go to sleep i think let's see how tired is he mm, yeah he's a bit tired i think you can see yeah the fatigue bar is at somewhere in the middle AJ is fully rested and he should ideally be, yeah, let him use the, uh, let's take him to the, uh, uh, actually, you know what, screw it, let him, let's make AJ use a navigator's table so that you don't get lost. Okay, here we go, we have, we have entered the open sea, the northeast Atlantic and now the time skip is really going to speed up, let's do it. So these are our orders right now. 
travel 20 to 50 kilometers inside the marked area, sink enemy trade ships with a total gross register tonnage of 0 to 7,000 tons. And it's still night time. Oh, and it's raining. Wow. Okay, Macho braving the <laughs> weather. <laughs> yeah, you can't see shit in this rain. <laughs> and the seas are pretty choppy also, as you can see. It's pretty dark too, but yeah. Let's uh, increase the time skip. Uh, Oops, change the course by mistake. Here we go. Okay, we need to get we need to put Macho to sleep because he's been on the targeting side for way too long. Tumbling cat should also go to sleep. Tuck should also probably go to sleep. As you can, yeah, so if you see the sight range is reduced a lot because there's nobody handling the targeting scope. Right, let's check our fuel reserves. So we have 9,900 kilometers, 800 remaining on current usage. Yeah, we should have enough to go here and come back. So it is not a fast game, I admit. It requires uh, aspects of it require a lot of planning, and it can be a little slow at times. But oh, watch out! We're getting a transmission from HQ. Hold on. Let's uh, let's get the radio guy to read it. That's tumbling cat. There he is, receiving transmission from HQ. El Macho just watching tumbling cat intensely, making sure he's doing his job. Tuck and Peace are sleeping side by side. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> AJ to Rock doing random shit because why not? Else, yeah, I'll send AJ back to sleep. Okay, getting some more new messages. Wow, getting a lot of messages. Let's see the journal. What does it say? Oh, look, we have a new contact. I mean, we have a new objective. One of our ships has gone missing. It's last known coordinates of 48 North 29 West. Contact was added on the map. Okay. So let me save the game here. So one of our submarines has actually gone missing. And what's the time right now? It is 7.50. Okay, it's, good. it's morning. So let's see. Change in plans. So you'll have things like this occasionally. Yeah, let's head for that. So this is where the ship was reported missing. Let's, hit, let's change course. And yeah, the graphics are pretty good. Let, I would like to take a minute to talk about the graphics. The waves are really modeled well. Splashing against your submarine. You can see this, you know, coming out through the vents over here. Really well done. No problem about the graphics or the attention to detail of the submarine. But yeah, uh, we, uh, we need to get to a submarine ASAP. Let's see what's up. I hope we don't went, run into any long range uh, fighter plane patrols. Uh, uh, fighter plane patrols, what am I saying? I meant to say anti sonar, anti submarine patrols. That's called ASW, anti submarine warfare. Yeah. Let's hope we don't run into any ASW fire planes. Uh, and yeah, we, this is inside our patrol area, so it should be fine. We'll still be able to finish a primary objective. I hope we find some ships to sink. The convoys typically go on this route, I guess. The convoys from the United States to Britain. So, yeah, almost there, 500 kilometers to the target. Oh, and it's, it's night again. Uh, hold on, let me see. El Macho. Okay, Macho is pretty much rested up. Uh, let me see what's the navigation status. Because if the navigation status uh, goes out of uh, 
If our navigation uh, is really poor, oh look, look at that, it's dangerous. The navigation is at 1%, so we need to... Navigation correctness, yeah, so we need to get that up quickly. AJ2, get your lazy ass up and go to the navigation station ASAP. Left click on AJ, right click here, navigation. Hurry, hurry, before we all get lost at sea. That is important because if you don't do that, you won't find your position on the map. You'll have no idea where you are. And it just dropped to zero, but let's hope. Oh, okay, now it's increasing as you can see. AJ just got there in time. If it drops to zero, you lose your position on the map. Then you need to then you need to spend around 12 hours in game to get the damn thing uh, to figure out where you are. What is Peace doing here? Oh, Peace is okay. He's reading the torpedoes. Yeah. There's Peace threading the torpedoes. Yeah. Yeah, we see there he's loading it in. He's hard at work. So, so he's warming up the torpedoes. So why this is done is because it'll reduce the chance for torpedo being a dud. Sometimes these torpedoes aren't very reliable early in the war. They sometimes don't explode on impact, so. Okay, we're almost at the missing submarine. Let's see. What time will we reach? Okay, it's going to be daylight when we reach. A uh, little, maybe close to evening, but... We're pretty close. Okay, new object to investigate the ship. We are close, yeah. So we need to send somebody over to investigate it. Oh, it is a Type 7C submarine. Uh, it's uh, showing up on our... Uh, it's, let's, let's get Marcher to the targeting site. So we can take a look. I'll switch to manual mode here. Uh, uh, Actually, yeah, let him let him go up. Let him go up. Yeah, I can't see still because of the waves, but yeah, we'll get there eventually. We're almost within sight range. There it is. Let's uh, click this on the map and see, click on the camera icon here. There we have we detected it. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Yep, this is it. This is the submarine. It seems to be abandoned. It's not moving at all. Let's look under. Its propellers aren't moving. I think something must have happened to it. Let's leave the view. And yeah. So let's take Macho and send him over. Okay, it's too far away still. Okay. Did we stop? No, they're still going, right? Yeah. Okay, if you can see someone's already calculating a firing solution on the submarine. So I think we might have to sink this to prevent it from getting into enemy hands. Hey Macha, maybe you can turn on the searchlight. Nah, never mind. New mission here by okay. So now we can send one of our guys on board. Let's let me just turn the submarine slightly to the left so you don't collide into it. So to do that you just hold right click and you can turn the turn it by a certain number of degrees to the right. You can see it turned. So let's head over right next to it and see. Okay, time to uh stop the damn submarine. 
Let's go to full reverse, so I should stop it quickly. Missing, okay, missing radio operator. What the hell, tumbling kid? Why aren't you at your station? Okay, let me send AJ instead there. The tumbling get his nap. So we need to report this actually to the headquarters. Okay, click to send report. There we go. This will give us some currency, 650 gold. Uh, meanwhile, let's send somebody on board. Uh, let's send Marcho on board. Just select on Marcho, right click that. Investigate, yeah. U322 is floating on the water surface without any living soul on the deck. Inspection from a boat makes it clear that the boat sustained major damage. It remains a mystery to what happened to the crew. Why the enemy left it in such state on the water. Let's go on board. There we go. March was going in a speedboat. Let's wait for let's wait for him to come back. Okay, March was there. Uh, let him investigate and come back. Skip time a little. Oh, watch out, something is there. El Macho cautiously boarded U322, reporting that he could not hear any sounds from inside the ship. He went to the conning tower and carefully opened the closed hatch, then quickly ran to the barriers on the conning tower, clearly choking. He reported that inside are the corpses of sailors. Oof, with dried blood floating out of their eyes and lips, Al Macho had no doubt the ship was damaged by a mine, which led to flooding of the batteries on the boat, which in turn released chlorine gas. Ooh, that is a bad way to go. Yeah, let's just sink the ship. So we have to sink the ship. Let Macho return, then we'll sink. Otherwise, he's going to die along with this. Yeah. So this is how the game is sort of. Sometimes you'll have objectives that come out of nowhere. And really fun ones, very immersive objectives, yeah. Okay, let Marcha come back. We can sync this with the deck gun. Uh, so let's send somebody to hand man the deck gun. Uh, pieces on the torpedo. Tuck is... Tuck should manage the diesel engines ideally. Yeah, let's send Marcha to the... Uh, there's a deck gun. Yeah, there is. Use a deck gun. Is he on board yet? No, he's not on board yet, I guess. How come we can't use a damn deck gun yet? Can he not use a deck gun? I don't know. Oh, you can. Okay, there we go. Okay, now Marjo is going to head over to a deck gun. Along with one sailor to help him with the reloading. Okay, let's go over here, take manual control. Need to aim a little on the water line so that the boat sinks faster. Uh, that'd be enough, I don't know. We take a look at the target here. Is this health introducing? Nope. It's still afloat. Well, a little boat. I think we might have to use a torpedo for this. Assuming its health doesn't decrease, the health of the ship. Yeah, you probably have to use a torpedo. So let's uh, back out a bit. We need to reverse. Well, not reverse. Rather, let's get into a perfect firing position. So you ideally want a 90 degree angle. So that the torpedoes don't have to turn a long way. Uh, so let's do this.
Okay, that should be fine. That should be just about fine. Okay, let's stop. Okay, let's get ready now. Go to targeting. Okay, let's get Marcher back to the targeting site. Is it the... Uh, Okay, now let me teach you how to target a submarine, any vehicle. So, uh, first thing you need to do is you need to click this on here. And then you need to assign any officer to target it. So, in this case, March, uh, in this case you can see Macho's name is coming up. So, he can actually target this. You can also have uh, others also target it if you want. But, uh, yeah, let's have Macho click this. I was calculating a torpedo course for this. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this clearly, but uh, yeah, that should be fine. So this is the firing solution you have. So there's a 93% chance to hit the target. And uh, yeah, we should probably start firing. So let's click this launch torpedoes at this target. So PSA has already warmed up a couple of torpedoes here. All four are warmed up. Let's select this one. So T1 electric torpedo. Speed, speed is fixed. We can't change the speed of this. Let's fire. Uh, 40 seconds to impact the torpedoes out. You can see it in the map, I think. Yeah, there it is. Let me uh, pause the game quickly so you can zoom into the submarines. The enemy, I mean the other submarine, U-322 I mean. Yep, here it is. And that's our sub. So the torpedo should be coming anytime now. Um, I, must, I wasn't really sure how to click the actual torpedo itself. Hold on, let me see. Okay, there it is, it's going. It's going to explode in a hell blaze of glory. Uh, Oh, and it's getting pretty dark also. Wow. Let's wait for it. There we go. Ooh, huge explosion. And you can see the health of the submarine is drastically decreasing. It's going down. Rest in peace. Yeah, it's going a long way to the bottom. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's it. We got some XP for that. But yeah. That is our first kill. And it's NPCs is meanwhile getting ready to reload the other torpedo. The one to replace the one that was just fired. But yeah, that's for that's it for our first objective. Uh, let me save the override the save. Uh, create a new save rather. Yeah, okay, now that we're done with that, let's resume our standard patrol. So we need to go patrol inside this area. Let's set up a standard patrol route like this. See if we find anything. Let's head, up. Let's head over. Yeah, and also I don't think we need the uh, I don't think we need the red light anymore for now unless we are going to actually attack. So we're getting some transmission. Hold on. Okay, let tumbling. Well, what the hell? Somebody work the radio, please. Okay, it's AJ. Okay, let tumb. Mm. Ah, it's fine. Let AJ work the radio. There's some sort of... Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow, wow, we are actually... Fuck, there are... Oh my god, this is not good. We need to dive, dive quickly, quickly. Warship spotted. He actually has a destroyer and a corvette here. That's not good. We need to dive, dive, dive now quickly. 
or we are spotted. Once again, Tuck is flooding the tanks. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh man. We ideally shouldn't take on warships because that's a waste of torpedoes. We are here for the British tonnage. Well, this was unexpected, really. Okay, now Macho is using the observation periscope just to get, keep a look on targets. I'm link at, yeah, I'll assign it to the hydrophone so you can detect uh, the warships underwater. Tuck is managing the electric engines. There we go, we are underwater. How deep is this place? Okay. Detection. Wow. Okay, we have detected a destroyer here nearby. Oh, it's an entire dis oh, it's an entire squadron over here. Wow. Hmm. And AJ is gone to sleep. Yes, of course he would. A time like this, he prefers to sleep. Oh wow, that is a huge strike group. Look at that. Let's take a look at those guys. The camera view. Uh, there it is. So I'm not sure what class of destroy this is, but uh, yeah, we generally want to stay away from these guys. But we know it belongs to the United Kingdom at least. So it seems to be some sort of task force that's heading. I wonder if there's a juicy target in there. Maybe a carrier. Let's just wait for them to go silently. Okay, so it's been identified as an F class. Uh, let's try coming up to periscope depth. So the options are here. What is this? Periscope depth. Yeah. So that's roughly 8 to 10 meters. And uh, let me tell AJ to keep an eye on these guys, the engineer. Oh, we need an engineer over there, okay. Now I'll send peace over. Make him improve depth keeping so we don't accidentally surface the boat. There you go, now peace will be keeping watch over these two guys and telling them to manage the depth. We are going to surface a bit so Macho can take a better look at the periscope. Uh, we are still, what is the current depth right now? We are still at around, uh, yeah, 35, 30 meters, 20 meters. I wonder if we should try to do something crazy like maybe attack one of these guys so we can get away with it. Okay, uh, Macho has just switched over to the attack periscope so that's why the sight range went down briefly. He was switching the periscopes. Uh, okay, yeah. So let me see which direction we are in. We are heading this side so this should be 90 should be zero degrees right so they should be should all be in that side I think uh, let me see and nope, don't see anything yet too far off I guess oh, there's a periscope pretty high up you can see and look oh we should probably lower that that's way too high up might actually get spotted ah. yeah screw it we don't want to mess up with these guys Mess with these guys. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's just die. Don't need to mess with these guys. Yeah, let's just go. 
A real concern is the uh, oxygen, actually, uh, I have 89% and it will deplete in one hour. And our battery capacity is okay so far. Yeah, let's let's surface aboard. I think we should be fine now. Oh, the tanks, yeah. Well, that is pretty close. Oh, and looks like the oxygen is trying to about to run out, but we're surfacing, so it should be fine. Okay, so now that we have surfaced, there's one thing we need to do. Uh, we need to switch on the diesel compressor to refill the oxygen. Uh. Let's send Tuck over to turn that on. There we go, that should uh, regenerate the uh, oxygen. That is close. I was expecting targets, but not that. Man. Let's try to find some ships to sink. There we go, travel mode. We need to travel 20 to 50 kilometers inside the marked area. Uh oh, watch out, new contrail. What is that? What the hell is that? Oh, is that? Looks like another? What is that? No idea what that is. Missing radio operator. Okay, you. On trail. Oh, it's enemy aircraft. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Time to dive. Time to dive. This is not good. That's even worse than the ships. Oh, man. Running into sh one enemy after another. Dive, dive, dive. On trail, yeah. Yeah, it's an aircraft. He's heading right towards us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's diving. He spotted us. Yep, there we are. Full speed ahead. He is going to jab charge us. He's firing at us. Yep. Oh, we just dropped down just in time. I hope he doesn't drop any bombs. Oh, he's dropping. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Oh. That is close. That almost hit us. Very close. Way too close for comfort. Damn. Oof. Freaking hell, that is close. That would have one-shotted us pretty much. Got lucky. Let's wait for him to go away. He's going to lurk around here for some time. Yeah, he's searching in that area as you can see. You like the game please yeah i'm glad you do yeah unfortunately i haven't sunk any ships yet that guy is still lurking around what the hell just go away already man seriously
He's still lurking around, man. Picking up. Okay, he's finally going. Thank God. Thank God. Oof. I suggest peace. So I suggest you watch the movie Das Boot and you too, Macho. I mean, uh, Das Boot is there on Netflix. So it's a heavily cut down version of the original, but uh, it's a very good movie. It's a very authentic war movie about submarines and it's produced by a German company. So you don't have any unrealistic Hollywood crap. Okay, this uh, boat is about to surface. And we are low on air reserves again, man. I really need to get the air reserves upgraded. Yeah, oh, and Tuck is... Tuck is pretty much spent. Yeah, let's assign peace temporarily to the radio room. Because we have an uh, incoming message from headquarters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. What are the radio messages? Out of range? Okay, there we go. And we can also send a report of this aircraft. So we'll get some uh, currency again. The game is the okay movie name. I'll type it in chat. Yeah, I hope you got that piece, Das Boot. Well, so far, Macho is having an interesting patrol. Captain Macho is having a very interesting patrol. Almost got ganked <laughs> twice. <laughs> Come on, give us some ships, convoys to kill. But yeah, sometimes a patrol is like this. It's just like real life. You go out, you don't see any ships, in, and you just return home to base empty handed. That's it. Nothing. Yeah, let's uh, and let me tell Macho to turn off the light, switch to white light, because there we go. We don't really need anything. Yeah, see, so when you're in normal lighting, you see you have a ten percent chance to discipline. I mean, ten percent boost to discipline. Normal lighting, you can see there. Okay, what is this new mission? Okay, we need to find. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me scroll down. We have information. Crucial technology has been loaded on the freight or Empire launch. It must be sunk at all costs. Its predicted location is 45, not 30. Years. All right, finally, finally, we have a target. They have actually given us a target to go after instead of finding something on our own. So it is all the way up here. Huh? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Submarines about to turn. So I need to make sure everyone's rested, but uh, the problem is, well, how's the navigation looking? 90% that should be fine. Need to make sure everyone's rested because we are going to get into an attack. So yeah, let's uh, peace on the radio room. That's fine. And let peace also sleep. Oh wow, wow! So the transport is heading that way. Okay, so we have to intercept them quickly. Let's go full speed. Uh, let me save the game here before we intercept the convoy. It's two to four ships, so it should be unescorted basically. Uh, let's see. Oh, and it's going to be a nighttime attack. That's good because our visibility will be very low. And oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. This is not good. I forgot to turn off the turn on the compressor. There is peace. Peace. Please go and. Yep. There we go. We are about to make contact. Go turn on the diesel compressor, please. Now I'll assign two officers to help Macho with the targeting. Macho, head over to the attack periscope. Uh, 
so they are heading this way so hold on let me get the tools out seem to be heading is it let me get this uh, compass out They are heading roughly in this direction. So the ideal point to intercept them would be somewhere around here, I'm guessing. Now we need to set up a 90 degree angle there. Hold on. Here's our protractor. Yeah, that's 90 degrees. So we need to ideally be here, uh, then head over here. Yeah, let's do that. Chimney smoke spot, it's missing radio operator. Yeah, let's get tumbling back on the radio. Look, head over to the diesel engines. These, yeah, one of the torpedoes. AJ. Yeah, what do I do with you, AJ? Uh, man. Yeah, maybe you can get on the. Uh, uh, you can get on the hydrophone, I guess. Not uh, that it matters. Uh, let's send a report on transport. So we need to intercept them quickly. So let's go up till around 2 kilometers here. Oh, we are actually going pretty fast. We might intercept them. Okay, there we are. We have intercepted them. Which transport is it? It was, we were supposed to make kill the Empire Larch, was it? Okay, that's Empire Lagan. There should be one more transport coming in. Yeah, let's target all three because you know why not so I'm clicking on the rider here uh, let's uh, let me see which direction it is going in and let me clear all this uh, uh, crap from the map we ideally want a 90 degree shot at the target so Oh, it is heading in this way. Yep, it's heading in that direction, so... So let's get a interception close, close plotted. Uh. Okay, so this is where you want to be ideally, somewhat here. Yep, let's do it. And here we can see the visibility that we are at. Uh, where is it? Yeah, visibility 70%. So you can see how visible your submarine is in the current environment. So there's a bit cloudy, so it'll affect uh, their sight range. 
and there's a bit of rain also and the noise is important if you are underwater and uh, someone's tracking you via sonar what time is it Jenny? okay it's it's 3 30. Okay, and we have another ship coming in now. Is it the Empire Lodge? It's Empire Lucy. So the ship is probably at the tail end. So here's what I'll do. I'll head over. How far away? This is one kilometer. Okay. I want to go. We don't want to go that close. Let's go a little to. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's stop. Let's stop here. Actually fine, too close and they'll spot us. Oh, that's our target, there it is, there it is. So let me get somebody on that right away. So AJ to rock, start calculating, L march, I'll just start calculating. Now you can actually calculate this uh, manually also if you want. We save the game here. You can do a manual calculation of the target if you want to determine its speed. So let me show you how that is done. So right now this freighter, we don't know what type it is. Oh wait. I think we have been spotted there. Yeah, that's why the alarm is there. We have been spotted. Ah, crap. That's bad. We were... Ah, let me reload the game back. Oops. Didn't want to be spotted there. That alarm that you heard was from the uh, uh, transport, actually. <laughs> Let me turn on the air compressor and we'll be, be there shortly, it's quite relatively near to it. Assign people to march up, increase the sight range. About to intercept, here we go. Okay, now I'll save the game. Okay, so they are somewhere over there. Uh, we have plenty of time to set up, so let's just wait for them. Yes, sign everyone back to your stations. Please put it back to torpedoes. Yeah. Steady as she goes. Yeah. Okay, we're about to establish contact now. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, wow, wow. hold on, hold on. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, go to periscope death quickly. There we go. Going to periscope death and uh, let's get AJ on the hydrophone. Macho will be on the attack periscope, so we should be able to see them still. Which side are they heading? Okay, that's where our target is at the rear. And let's see how far away we are from these guys. Uh, one kilometer, two kilometer, that should be fine. We can go a little closer, I guess. Switch to electric engines, yeah. Let's wait. Let me save the game here. Override the previous one. Oh, duck is pretty much spent, I guess. But it's fine. 
Are we at periscope depth yet? Yeah, we should be at periscope depth, right? Okay, the seas are a bit choppy. No wonder Macho can't detect them. Now uh, let's see. Okay, the sight range is increasing now. Okay, there we are. Detected them. And uh, let's uh, let's stop the submarine for now. Save the game. Yeah, and let's take a look at this target and I'll show you a little bit on how to calculate this manually. So what ship is this? We have the, uh, eh, let's say Empire something, but uh, let's go over to the observation periscope. Yep, there we have a bunch of targets. Okay, so this is our target, I guess. Oops, 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 oops. Well, it's a target, I don't know. But okay, never mind. That's not what I'm here for. Let's proceed to lock onto this guy. Yeah. Now we need to identify this freighter. Uh, it's just a freighter right now. We don't know what it is. Let's open the identification book and see what kind of freighter it is from the uh, silhouette that you can see. So uh, it has some sort of superstructure at the front. Let me raise the periscope a little so you can get a better view. It has some sort of superstructure at the front and uh, it looks like it could be an empire bell I'm guessing but let's see if there's something else. Not an empire tower definitely. It could be an empire tower too maybe. Or it could be an empire explorer or a liberty but let's see. definitely not this let's look at the front it has two of these uh, things coming out I don't know what they're called mm, I really can't tell from here but let's tell you what let's do one thing let's calculate the uh, let's calculate the speed of this thing how fast this is going so what you want to do ideally is to wait till the bow of the ship crosses the center of your periscope then click start on the stopwatch let's start now and then when the rear of the ship crosses the end of the uh, crosses the center of your periscope you stop the timer now let's lower it a little more don't get spotted accidentally So this can be done manually by the, I mean, by the AI as well, but uh, it's sometimes satisfying to do a manual targeting. So this rear is almost crossed. We should be able to get its reading now, all that. There we go, done. Oh crap, I forgot to enter this. Okay, so I forgot to enter. <laughs> hold on, hold on, damn it, I screwed up. <laughs> A bit finicky. Hold on. Uh. It should ideally have been uh, mentioned that here in the lower right. Up there it is. Come on, why don't you lock on? Is it a bug or what? Okay, I think we need to identify the type of ship first and then Okay um, I think it's probably one of the Empire ships. Uh, let me see uh, It looks like an Empire A 
Okay, it's got one tower at the back. It's definitely not a liberty. Uh, why don't I let Macho do it by himself for now? The Kandas here, the AJ, you also target this. Let's identify the type it is for now. Okay, it's an Empire Tower. Okay, let's head back. And what's the speed that they've estimated it at? Well, the speed isn't uh, given it. They're still targeting the speed, but we can do it manually now. Let's see. Uh, meanwhile, let's uh, yeah, let let's uh, have AJ target this one. Calculate the details for this. Well, Marcher can focus on this. Let's go to manual mode. Okay. Okay, the speed is estimated to be around five kilo knots right now. But uh, let's. Uh, Let's do it manually ourselves just to see the reading is accurate. Yeah, it's somewhat the same, 5 kilo knots, okay. Fine. And to calculate the range on this thing, we'll need to do this. Uh, we have a tool called the, uh, what is that, the steady meter. So what this will do is, it'll create a, what you need to do is, you need to align the periscope till the base of the ship. Where is that, steady meter. Oops, oops, oops. Align to base of the ship. So you can see I'm creating a reflection of this. So you need to move the bottom half of the reflection to the highest point on the ship. And then click set. And that should give you the range. It's a bit far off. I don't think it's accurate. Let me lock on to this guy. Yeah, let's try that again. Just need to make it go to the highest point on the mast. So it is roughly two kilometers, that's what it's showing. Yeah, so it sounds seems accurate, it's around two kilometers off. <laughs> Okay, fine. Firing solution is at 55%. Okay. So there's a lot more to do. I'm just simplifying it for you guys here. Uh, okay, this gives us a lot better. Uh, Yeah, let's see if the torpedoes are ready. Where is peace? Oh, he's sleeping. What the hell? Come on, man. Tie, tie. Pop off the torpedoes. Let's have two guys with peace. How's the firing solution on this looking? 75% okay not bad we can could actually take this shot that guy's pretty close to us wow okay well let's wait for them to pass ahead of us uh, The firing solution on this is right now at 95%. We can go ahead and fire, and on this, it is 
96. So this is our primary target. So let's launch a torpedo at that first. Uh, let's flood the let's flood the tubes. Torpedo away on that one. Now let's target this guy. Tube 2 is now flooded. Let's go. Let's go for it. Yeah, and uh, let's do one thing. Let's lower the periscope. Don't want to get spotted. The kite to periscope. That should be fine. Torpedo was a dud. What the hell? Oh man. Oh man. Oh, got an hit on that. We got a target. Yeah. But the torpedo on this was a dud, unfortunately. Thanks, Peace, for messing it up. Let's quickly get another torpedo. And let's just surface the board because they're pretty much spotted now. We can switch to a deck gun. So with Converse that are escorted, you can't afford this basically. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's take a look at our target, a Empire Lurch. What happened to it? Oh, we got it, we got it. Wow, big explosion on that one. Picking up an SOS from that Empire Lodge. That's an SOS message. Oh. Yes, nice, nice, guys. Macho has got his first kill. Finally. Now we have surface. Let's get Macho over to the deck. What the hell? Isn't a deck gun available yet? Okay, I think, uh, yeah, it's still. Yep, there we go. Get to a deck gun. We have one more target at the back. We need to get rid of that guy. We'll use a deck gun for that. Where is the Empire Lodge? Meanwhile, okay, there it is. Got hit, but it doesn't look like uh, it's taking water. Yeah, we can see the... Well, this thing fell off the mast. It got hit. And you can see a huge ex black spot here, so it's, it's going to sink in a while. Oh, let's take manual, let's shoot at the Empire Lodge. Oh, no, 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 you take, give me manual control, Macho. I don't want you wasting the weapons. Oh, by the way, we can also take out this guy, he's there, yeah. Okay, to aim for the water line. We are using armor piercing to try to sink the... To try to damage the hull. So as you can see, he is already a bit underwater. So he is going, he's not going to last long. Let me switch to high explosives here. And uh, see if we can set him on fire. Getting some more new messages. damage yet on it but that yeah that ship is sinking you can see it's really low in the water I 
Let's switch back to armor piercing. Yeah, this one is sinking slowly, gradually. Probably could have used one more torpedo, but... Let's stop the submarine, makes aiming easier. Get that terrible aim by Macho, wow. Oh, okay, he actually hit. <laughs> and parts of the boat actually fell down. Yeah, this is pretty close. Can't miss at this range. <laughs> we can actually do surface firing on these guys. We have some. You can see we have some. Uh, yep, survivors here. You can ignore them. Empire Longport sunk. Yeah, let's set an intercept course. Chase them. Let's switch back to high explosives. Maybe you can cause a fire on board. Oh, there we go. We set him on fire. Nice. That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Oh, nice shot, Macho. Wow, wow. Nice shot. Oh, okay, okay. That's enough. That's enough. I think we should target this guy. New messages. Yeah, tumbling. Uh... Better intercept those, better get those radio messages out. Oh, we are way too close to this guy. And he much have missed at that range, what the hell? Come on, dude. Let's show you how it's done. Almost out of high explosive. That's how it's done. And that ship is going to sink as well. You can see our mast is falling down. Yeah, let's get out. Let's switch to forward one. Save on the save our diesel. Empire lurch rang out of range. Why is it still showing out of range? Okay, I think we're way too far off to report, but okay. It's fine, natural. Get off the deck gun, get off the deck gun. That's enough. That is enough. It's going to sink shortly. You can see the health is dropping. There we go. Empire Lords. Click to send reports. Value 14,400. It's not bad for a first patrol. We have actually sunk two sh ships and there's still one more on the way. So, rest of the game is not going to be easy. Remember, these are the happy times. It's 1941, not many escorts. Uh, maybe we should get Marcher back on the deck gun because that guy is actually still floating. What the hell? Yeah, Marcher, get back on the deck. Deck gun, go, 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 go. This is your chance. Okay, where was he? Where was he? Yeah, okay, he's a bit low in the water, so... I think he might actually sink. 
Yeah, he's tipping over. You can see that. Aim for the water line. There we go. Oops, I missed. I missed. My bad. Yeah, he's sinking. He's sinking. He's very low in the water line now. And we have fire on board. Yeah, leave the position. That's it. Macho, back to the attack targeting site you go and meanwhile let's have a look at the ship yeah it's going down i guess it's taking water eventually or it will take water eventually i mean it's tipping over to a side slowly slowly yeah Okay, it seems to have its motors have stopped, but nothing is happening. Okay, the crew have abandoned ship. Okay, well that is interesting. I think I'll just use a torpedo and finish it off. Uh, okay, let's. Here's my view. Give me the view. This way, up it is that way. Yeah. Okay, let's reverse a bit. That should be fine. This is actually a pretty bad angle to shoot a ship because of the curvature. There's a chance the torpedoes could actually bounce off, but yeah, what the hell. Yeah, he has kindly warmed up a bunch of torpedoes for us. Let's get the firing solution up a little. Oh wait, another transmission? What? What is this? Come on, kitty, give me the transmission. What is that about? Let's see what Tumbling Cat has to say about the transmission. Uh... Okay. Empire Large Torpedo. Oh, they reported that they are torpedoed. Okay. Well, that is not good because if they have reported that, that means we might have company soon. Help ally. What is this help ally? I don't have any allies here. I don't know what it's talking about. Nope, I have no idea what that is about. Help ally. It's fine. Let's shoot the damn thing. Torpedo is away. Let's see if I can get a camera view on the torpedo. Uh, you used to be able to do that, get a camera angle on the torpedo. But now it doesn't seem to be possible. That is weird. I mean, previously you could get a camera angle on the torpedo. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get a camera angle on this guy instead. Should get it. Appear on the torpedo. Uh, right on the rear. Yeah. Yep, now it's going to sink. Finally. Wow, this was a tough ship. Took forever to sink. There we go. Kill number three from Archer. Let's send a report on this back to headquarters. And let's head home. I mean, we still have to travel 20 to 50 kilometers, but by the time we are out of the area, that should be fine. Okay, everyone. Back to bed. Yeah, tumbling to go to sleep. Duck, go to sleep.
it is I'll need you to need a navigation table for some time watch your job well done head to sleep what is was there any other radio messages that we needed actually I don't know Nothing. Uh. Yeah, let's send peace also to sleep because it's not really needed anymore. Nice work. Not bad for the first petrol. Pretty eventual, eventful petrol. We we encountered a group of warships, which we avoided, and then we encountered a uh, well an ant in ASW airplane, which almost bombed us. And then finally, we got some targets to sink. What's our navigation doing? Uh, okay, wait, hold on, that is not good. Alright, okay, it's at hundred percent. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Navigation is important. Let's send AJ to sleep. Okay, we need. Okay, our oxygen reserves are a bit low. Yeah, let's send. Uh, yeah, let Tuck manage the diesel engines and turn on the damn compressor. I keep forgetting that. Tuck, 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 where are you? Uh, turn on the compressor. Need some oxygen supplies back up in case we get die bombed again. And this would be a good time to save the game. Should be a little more than we can we can count count consider this machine done. Okay, discipline is low because too much work from officers, really. Oh, okay, no no no, sorry about that. Yeah, let's unassign these officers and then that should be fine. There we go, done. The patrol is done. Let's get tumbling to let's head home and uh, assign tumbling back to the radio station so we can report. There we go, we are done. That's it, our mission is done. Let's head on. Because unlike, we don't we are not exactly in the free roam mode, so we can't really go about doing what we like. But we are free to uh, kill targets of opportunity. Oh, we are a bit low on fuel, but yeah. But we should have enough for our uh, final... Yeah, we should have enough, I guess, yeah. Oh, we just sit and wait till we can make it home. So that's it, guys. That is some that is some of the gameplay you can expect in U-boat. And meanwhile, well, you know what? Let's play some nice uh, classical German music. Macho, I don't know, I'm not sure Macho is online. But Macho is in the ship, there he is. We, you can see he's relaxing over here. This is El Macho, part reading anti magazines on board a German submarine. Yes. And also, welcome to the stream, designated quack.
Yes, the German national anthem. Mm Well, I know it's easy to say call everyone Nazis in the German army, but many were not actually. The German naval forces were the least uh, Nazified, if you can say that. They were just there for the war, not for killing Jews or the ideology. Yeah, Tumbling Cat, he's sort of playing, you can, I guess, he's handling the radio. Peace and AJ are just sleeping next to each other because they can't, because they are not allowed to sleep together. Such behavior is forbidden on board a German submarine. Yeah, let's skip the time. Yeah, fuel reserves are a bit low, but we should be we should make it just in time. Oh, stuck went to sleep, I think. Yep, there he is. Oh, we are lost. Oh crap. So worried about that. Forgot as AJ went to sleep, didn't get on the navigation navigator board. Damn it, AJ, God is lost. Yeah, it'll take a long time. It's going to like take a long time to get the ship position fixed. Let me get some guys to help him out. Nice work, AJ. God is lost. Oh, that's why I said you need to have somebody on board the on the navigation table at all points, at all times. Oh, you would, I see you're joining the stream very late, but you fight. You are in the Second World War. Good bits are over. You missed it. Sorry. We just kid this we just sunk a lot of ships and we are returning home. We are low on fuel too, so there's no good piece to show you. I'm afraid you'll have to rewind and watch the string. Yep, it is on YouTube and Twitch, yeah. Copy If ship position is almost fixed. Okay, finally we got a fix on our position. Let's head back home to La Rochelle. Yeah, yeah, sure. Quack. Peace is sleeping. Let's have Peace play some cards instead. Yeah, let, uh, let Peace and uh, AJ play cards. Yeah, let's see what they're doing. This is Peace walking through the submarine. Oh, someone's having food soup next to peace. 
Yeah, they should show up now. Oh, there he is playing cards with someone else. And Macho is tired and <laughs> sleeping as usual. <laughs> oh, Tumbling Cat is pretty much exhausted. Yeah, let's send him to bed. Okay, now we are finally home, entering the port area of La Rochelle. Oh, it's midnight. And you can see the lighthouse from the harbor. This macho is a wide awake, so let's uh, manual control of macho. And let's head upstairs. Where the hell is peace? Should be here somewhere. Nope. Oh, hello AJ. Still playing cards, huh? Yeah, you do that. Okay, let's get back on deck. And it's raining. Let's uh, turn on the search light. There we go. Get on the targeting site. save the game here in case it crashes still an early access game but it's quite stable now oh the cpu is running pretty hot yeah time to time to dock Get the time a bit. Yep, this is our dock. So the moment we hit this, uh, we should talk automatically. You can roam the docks but not the city. There are no cities to roam on. But you can roam inside the submarine too. But yeah. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> I messed this up each time. Let's go back in reverse. There we go. Done. Talk finally. Welcome home, everyone. Welcome home. Okay, Macho, time to get out and request some shore leave for the crew so they can get a nice vacation. Where the hell are the ladder? Where's the ladder? Need the ladder. Oh yeah, yes, yes, very climbed down. So that's it, folks. End of our first petrol. Wow, El Macho receives a new decoration, Iron Cross Second Class. 
the Iron Cross decoration was established in 1813 by King Friedrich Wilhelm III of Prussia. It has a long tradition in German military. It's awarded for a single act of bravery in the battle. The black core is made of solid iron and the frame is made of alloy called German so Nice work. He also got the first class for repeated acts of bravery in the battle. Wow, good performance by Al Macho. Nice. This wasn't there in the game before getting medals. It's pretty new, I guess. So these are the things that uh, got us the medal. This is what we did so far. We had a U-boat which was missing and we visited it and found it was abandoned. Well, rather everyone died on board. And so we destroyed it. Then we had instructions to kill, a destroy a freighter which had some top secret equipment and we just did that. You can, which you can catch in the stream. Yeah. Oh, and here are the rewards that we got. So 30,000 gold. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is something to do with, uh, yeah, the uh, favors that you can ask. And this is the tonnage sums, 13,846 tons on our first petrol, 18 days out at sea. We traveled 7,483 kilometers, so this is all what we did. And I don't know what this objective was, help ally, I have no idea. We missed it, but I really have no idea what it was. But these are, this is what we have sunk, three Empire Tower uh, freighters. It's the lighting, man. They are not black. Oh, okay. So this is the objective. Some this is what you missed. So some of our crew show signs of scurvy. We are asking nearby units to share some supplies of vegetables or fruits. Yeah, I had no idea. I think I missed this transmission. Yeah, that's done. So now we can try to do some research, but we don't have any officers who can actually do the research. Oh, there's a lot of water in the submarine. Yeah, I need to get rid of the bilges. Yeah, Tug, why don't you go ahead and turn on the motor, the pump I mean. Uh, there's a pump. Pump should be somewhere here, hold on. I'll get back to Macho in a bit, but I really need to turn on the pumps. Uh. Like uh, the submarine is a bit flooded. Okay, there it is. Yeah. There yeah, I go stuck. Okay, the pump is on. Now the water should drain. Let's head back to Macho. Uh, and let's talk back to the officer. My crew needs a break. Yeah, so let's uh, give give our guys a break. So we can. We have a bunch of options here. What if the sub starts flooding while submerged? Well, if the sub starts flooding, I mean, only if it's damaged will it actually get flooded. And if that happens, oh yeah, then you will have a lot of problems on your hands. Uh, you will, you might have to seal off the section of the submarine which is damaged, so that water doesn't leak onto other sections. And then, you need, then you need to equip crew members with uh, breathing apparatuses, enter that flooded section, and then try to fix the leak. So yeah, it's a, it's really interesting that uh, the way the damage is modeled. And some of them might actually run out of air and drown and get themselves killed, but they might be able to fix the damage in time. So yeah, a lot of things can happen. Okay, let's uh, give our crew a nice... Uh, um, and we almost did get uh, sunk. I mean, we encountered an aircraft that dive-bombed us and we just avoided the depth charges from it. You can see it in the stream. It's somewhere in the middle of it, I believe. Now we can send our crew for uh, recovery uh, 14 days to different places. And uh, they will have bonuses when they come back. Discipline penalties will be reset. Uh, they'll have five discipline ratings, etc., etc. We can send them there if you want. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. I mean, for U-boat for now. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, we, there are other things we can do. Uh, as I showed in the start of the stream, let me talk to this guy. You can, not this, what is that? Yeah, you can also do the research, doing all these uh, various uh, objectives. They will unlock new technology for upgrades on your submarine. But yeah, we don't have the required crew member abilities for that. Uh, you need to have somebody with the lead. Uh, it says here you don't have any officers on the staying on the land that match the requirements of this mission. So yeah, we need to get some uh, XP up and uh, 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 scale up our officers so that they can, you know, do all this mission. So this is stuck over here. He's an engineer. This is Almacho. Got two decorations already. Oh, and as you can see, we can already uh, give him some skills. So, so this is an interesting choice. Uh, we can uh, give him a gunner so it shoots more accurately from the deck gun, or we can uh, give him this so that uh, he can uh, spot targets through the periscope much faster. Tough choices, yeah. But I think I'll go with this because. Most of the time we'll be doing manual. Let's see what tumbling cat whether he has any upgrades. Nope, he has nothing. He was sleeping most of the time. Well, actually AJ was sleeping most of the time. Let's see if Sleeping Beauty has anything. Nope, no upgrades for him. Yep, no upgrades for him. Uh, also, we can go here at the warehouse. Uh, yeah. We can resupply our submarine because as you can see the fuel is run out when we have a lot of gold now we started with 5000 we have 52,795 so yeah, let's refuel all this there we go the deck gun yeah we lost a lot of ammunition for deck gun shooting up those uh, Yeah, and we don't have many torpedoes left either. We need to buy all of these back. But we can do that later. I wanted to show you the upgrades that you can do. So, there are a bunch of upgrades you can do, including toilets. Yes, even toilets can be upgraded here. See. So, we need to research in the headquarters to unlock to, to upgrade the toilet. Improved hydraulic system with confidence of the possibility to use toilets deep underwater. So yeah, that is the thing. If the submarine is submerged, <laughs> you normally cannot use a toilet. <laughs> if you have to pee, you're pretty much screwed. You have to get a can and uh, do it. You can upgrade the listening room too, but yeah, again, we need to unlock all those through research in the headquarters. Yeah. Install widgets. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we have electric engine upgrades as well, but yeah, can't do any of those either. But yeah, that's it for the first petrol. Yeah, and it took us our, it took us a long way up from Port La Rochelle, all the way till sector where is it? Bravo Delta. Yep, over here, the North Atlantic. It was a very eventful uh, first petrol. I mean, I've, I haven't seen this much action normally when I play alone. So yeah, very good content for the stream, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there is Macho. He's just roaming around, chilling in the rain. He's getting back on board. But yeah, that's it for you, board guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, take care, and I'll catch you next time.